Protection is central to all humanitarian action. It's what we're here for. However, if we don't prepare properly, gaining a true understanding of the situation we're entering, we can end up causing more harm than good. That's why it's important to make protection the foundation of everything we do. It's our responsibility. First, we must be aware of the common risks and threats. Personal violence, such as deliberate physical harm or any degrading or inhumane treatment. Deprivation, including seizure of land and withholding the right to healthcare, education, water and economic opportunity. Limited movement and restricted access, which can mean human trafficking, family separation or keeping someone from practicing their religion. All of these unjust events can be combated by the four principles of protection mainstreaming. 1. Avoid causing harm. Prevent and minimize as much as possible any unintended negative effects of your intervention. This is anything that could increase people's vulnerability to any physical or psychological risks. Always prioritize safety and dignity. 2. Enable access. Make it as easy as possible for people to access assistance and services. Prioritize need and destroy any barriers, such as discrimination. 3. Accountability. Don't assume what we're doing is enough. Develop channels for affected populations to measure the success of our interventions and address any concerns they may have. 4. Participation and empowerment. The key isn't what we can do for people. The key is how we can support them to take back their own lives. Promote self-protection and assist people in claiming their rights. The right to shelter, food, water, sanitation, health and education. Everyone deserves these things. Embolden them to believe that. This isn't always easy. However, by including protection considerations at all stages of the project cycle and collaborating with other teams on best practice, you can succeed. Protection is a collective responsibility, so be accountable for your actions. Make sure you know people's rights and understand who is most at risk and why. Protection is a human right. For more information, visit 